Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for April 7th, 2021. Well, yesterday we ended up with kind of a light and choppy day. Not a whole lot went on yesterday, and that was kind of what I mentioned the possibility could uh, could be. Hopefully no one was really hurt in it. And I know I've been hearing a lot of comments from people struggling in this market quite a lot. But how about we grab ourselves something to drink, let's buckle up, and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for clicking in and taking a look. And I just want to say thank you for all the support and the kind comments and things to the Morning Market Prep video. You know, um, I did a class last night where I said I do the Morning Market Prep video really for me. <laughs> and it's one of those things that helps me put focus into what's actually happening in the market and avoiding the hype and drama that we see in all of the news and social media things out there that can get us into real trouble. So let's take a look at these technicals. Let's take a look at this price action and see if we can get some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. So first off, um, we certainly have a extremely bullish trend here in the Dow. There is just no question the bulls are large and in charge here on the Dow. But that big move that we created on Monday, um, we just had to back up and rest a little bit. I think partially because we're waiting on the FOMC minutes. Now, there's news out today and whoops, there's news out today and we have seen um, some pressure here recently in the market um, with concerns uh, coming in on inflation. And um, there's news out today that um, FOMC could easily and very soon come under some serious scrutiny, some fire for allowing the easy money policies to continue this long. Now we have um, economists suggesting that the second quarter could actually surge by as much as 9%. That could put some heavy, heavy worries on those inflation um, issues. And consequently, that puts a lot of weight on these FOMC minutes. Now, I don't think we're gonna learn anything new from these FOMC minutes, but all eyes are gonna be watching on that for clues that maybe somebody said something about um, turning just a little bit more hawkish. It'll be an interesting situation. So we could just see light choppy price action through the rest of the day. Um, until we hit that FOMC. And then I want to propose the idea that it is entirely possible as we wait for some inspiration to move, we may have to wait all the way through to next Wednesday when we get the beginning of earnings and we find those inspirational points to really start moving around. So kind of keep in mind after such a big upside move, it wouldn't be out of the question to just rest here for about a week. So it's going to be um, really important to be um, uh, focused in on your stock picks. We're going to have to be a little bit choosier. We may have a little bit more back and forth in the market. And keep in mind, if the Dow were just to pull back to this level right in here, we've got about another 275 points just to pull back to test price support in the chart. So just consider that um, possibility that we could just see that slight and choppy price action for the next week, um, despite what the FOMC may say or do. So just kind of keep that in mind, that possibility does exist. Let's take a look at the SPY. A little bit long explanation there on the Dow. Um, <laughs> the SPY also doing very, very well, extremely bullish. There's nothing in this chart that says bearishness. The only concern that we really have here is just noticing how far we are stretched away from a price support and how quickly we rallied up there. So that puts that little element of danger in there if there is some worries that pop up that the pullback could be a little bit painful. Just kind of keep that in mind if that were to occur. Also keep in mind, it wouldn't be out of the question. And what I mentioned on earnings there before, 
that we could just continue this consolidation over here until we hit that inspirational point of those earnings events. So watch that closely. We are a bit extended in that short term. If we take a look at the NASDAQ, now the NASDAQ has, oops, has done a really good job. QQQ has done a really good job of rallying back up. But I want you to take note that from our low just eight days ago, we were up more than 8% in that trading, uh, excuse me, nine days. Nine days of trading, we were up a full 8% in the NASDAQ. Now we have zoomed past some support or, or resistance in the chart. We still have resistance, overhead resistance that we need to deal with in this chart. And it wouldn't be out of the question after such a big booming move, seeing that little shooting star um, starting to show up here, that possibility that we could just rest and maybe come back into that 50-day moving average. It wouldn't be odd. Now, it would also not be all that odd after such a big booming move that we just rest up in here and allow that 50-day moving average to come up to us. So kind of keep that in mind. There's this little back and forth that we may have to may have to watch and we're, we're waiting for inspiration. I think there is some significant worry out there in the market that we're gonna see um, inflation pressures really starting to build. And then the concerns, will these companies be able to um, actually report earnings strong enough to support these current prices? That'll be some of the questions kind of rattling around in the heads of investors out there as we continue to just break record after break record after break record um, as um, government and FOMC just continues to stand on the gas pumping money into the economy. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM struggled just a little tiny bit yesterday. Um, we started up with financials kind of perking up early in the morning and oil sector stocks perking up just a little bit in the morning. But by the end of, well, kind of after we got through the jobs opening report, everything started to soften and um, we saw that little consolidation. And when I say little, little consolidation, we just largely went sideways yesterday um, in the market, just chopping back and forth. Um, left a little bit of a shooting star pattern here, trying to hold up. But one thing I wanna point out is we, and we have this added concern in here now, of this possible head and shoulders pattern setting up on IWM. Now I don't know that it's serious yet and I don't and I certainly don't want to suggest that the market is going to falter or fall with such big expectations for the second quarter. But just keep a close eye on that. It wouldn't be odd or out of the question to just see us rest in here just kind of waiting for some of these things to catch up. Uh, maybe even a pullback to test that 50-day moving average wouldn't be out of the question. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now, our doggone VIX has been just a little bit wacky here. Um, and when I say just a little bit wacky, it's been really weird. When we surged up on Monday, we would typically see um, this was our this was our Thursday close before the holiday. We would typically see in a surge like that just a, a rush into the market. We would typically see um, the VIX gap down and fall. But instead, what we saw is the VIX actually rose on that day. So we had fear coming up in the market as the market surged. Now there is just one of those little clues that we may have some worry or some concern about inflation that we're, we, we're, we're pushing this market too hard. Um, I don't know that that's gonna hurt us. And remember, we have finally broken this support in the chart and that is a good sign. So a consolidation here, um, if the market just rests, wouldn't be a bad thing. Um, as long as we maintain under, excuse me, underneath um, that support or resistance area now. So watch that close. And if it does happen to rally back, I'm not sure that I would be all that concerned about that if we rally back and then find that failure point to move lower. So just keep that in mind. But there is some oddness going on here with such um, um, amazingly bullish sentiment for the market. There just seems to be no price we're unwilling to pay for stocks. 
that the VIX is showing uh, these fear levels. And if you're trading trading options, you're seeing the complications in that because we're getting really wide bid ask spreads, kind of some weird price action showing up in there. So just be a little bit careful and cautious. Then if we take a look at our T2122, now T2122 continues to signal that we, even though we had that rest yesterday, we really didn't do any pulling back. We just kind of rested. So keep in mind that T2122 is still showing us in that bearish reversal zone. We are very elevated in the short term. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that we have to plunge. What it could mean is we just go into that week long consolidation. We just rest. And if we kind of go into that choppy consolidation, we could actually see T2122 pull back in that price action. Now, obviously, that's going to require more stocks moving south and sideways than going up, but just kind of keep in mind. If we do, however, find a reason to stumble, you know, for example, we had mortgage um, demand dropping 20% this morning um, as a result of these extreme high prices in um, houses, in housing, and um, we're seeing a slump starting to begin there. So we could be on that cliff edge of inflation that has got the market just a little bit worried. So watch that close. If we were to stumble a little bit more, we could certainly see a pullback. I don't know that we're going to really just collapse, though, ahead of you know just being a week out from um, earnings season. Let's take a look at T2101. Now, our absolute market breadth continues to be a little bit of a concern for me. As we continue to set record high after record high and re record high, we're not getting out of this downtrend here in our market breadth. Um, that is a bit of a concern. So keep a close eye on that. We just want to watch that closely. How about we take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, we've got a couple things we want to pay attention to. I've already mentioned that we had those mortgage applications declining sharply, down 20% uh, for refinance demand, just simply due to the extreme high prices in housing. Um, let's take a look at, um, we've got international trading goods coming out here at 830. Now, I don't know that anybody cares about that anymore. We just run phenomenal deficits. Nobody cares that we don't make anything here in the United States. We ship it all in. Um, but watch that closely. These numbers are continuing to grow and uh, could present a problem here before too long. Um, notice that we have the petroleum status number. That could be very helpful today or could hurt those oil sector numbers today. We'll wanna watch that at 10.30 Eastern. And then we have the FOMC minutes at two o'clock. And I think all eyes will be on that, looking for clues that anyone in the FOMC might be coming just a bit more hawkish or worried about inflation. Keep in mind that we have Fed speakers all day today. Um, I, they're just always out there yakking away. Um, and um, you might want to make note that we have Jerome Powell on the calendar for tomorrow out there speaking. So that always brings in that little bit of, uh, remember he spoke that one time and the market dropped 800 points. So um, we'll want to keep a close eye on, on that speech um, tomorrow. And um, jobless claims tomorrow morning as well. So kind of plan that into your day. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, guys. But before we do that, if, well, uh, first I forgot. We should take a look at the earnings. Earnings, we have a light day today, but we do have a, f uh, a few notables that you might want to pay attention to. Um, LW will be reporting today. Might want to watch that. Um, MS um, M um, is reporting today. It looks like they're gapping down this morning on their report. And um, SCHN, um, are, those are about the only notables that I could pull out today. So you might want to keep an eye on those charts as we progress through the morning. Let's take a look. Um, 
um, at some stocks that could be setting up but please um, before we do that if you could do me a favor make sure make sure you click that subscribe button on YouTube and then uh, click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos you know the purpose of these videos are not to add to the hype not to add to the drama of the day but to really look at the price action and and focus in on what's going on to help um, you and me um, figure out how I want to approach the market for today and I got to tell you um, looking at the price action here the way things are going maybe just a little bit of caution we, we shouldn't be rushing into trades right now we should be really really choosy and be very very careful on the stocks that we pick in our trading um, also, if you guys could do me a favor, if um, you feel this video was worthy, if you could click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, I would truly appreciate it. it helps us continue to grow, and um, I, you know, we're approaching 19,000 subscribers now. How how amazing is that? I never would have expected that many people would um, respond to this kind of content. So thank you very much, everyone. And I also want to continue to just give these shout outs to folks that are utilizing that buy me a coffee. Um, link um, supporting the channel and the content I truly truly appreciate it you guys are awesome thank you very much let's take a look at some stock setting up and I got to tell you guys there's a lot of stock setting up right now but we're gonna have to be really careful picky about the trades that we take and um, remember these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security these are something that you might want to put on a watch list consider the risk that you're taking in the trade and remember you should never ever blindly follow someone else's analysis make sure you're doing your own due diligence on any trade that you take let's take a look at some of these stocks CVS I put on a list yesterday and I really like CVS in the in this pattern here we're moving in a nice little upside trend notice that we're resting and pulling them back and by the way this is something you're gonna note in my trading what most folks are doing in their trading is they're chasing around the white candle they're chasing around that pop I don't do that I actually look for trades setting up before they occur and you can see I've placed a price alert on this chart I don't anticipate that this is going to be a winning trade or a trade that I'll even buy um, what I'm going to do is wait for the price to show me that buyers are stepping in so as you can see I've got a chart showing me trend and we've pulled back and we're just kind of resting in here and I'm waiting to see if those bulls are going to step up and push that out nice looking chart CVS definitely setting up uh, for upside move take a look at KMI Kinder Morgan now Kinder Morgan um, it's listed here oil and gas but uh, Kinder Morgan is more of a pipeline than anything else and what I want you to note is Kinder Morgan has broken out of a big resistance um, level here in the chart and notice that we're holding it we're just sitting up there holding it there's no sellers um, on that stock so as we move over here toward this trend I want to watch this it tried to go yesterday had a little bit of a pullback when the so we softened in the market um, yesterday but I want to watch this for that opportunity to maybe pop on through keep a close eye on KMI looking pretty good I think you should also be keeping an eye on Procter & Gamble P&G is looking pretty good here breaking through this resistance level in the chart and just camping up here resting waiting um, for some inspiration in that chart now I fully expect this to just continue to rest over here toward trend um, but if we get some inspiration early that could pop through but keep a close eye on here PNG could set up and move right on up to the upside and we could be up here testing this 140 resistance area in the chart very very soon how about Altria now Altria we made some really good money on Altria in right way options trading this on a longer term chart here was our entry on the weekly and writing that up and there are some folks in RWO still holding that as that longer term trade congratulations to you guys beautiful beautiful move but now if we look at the daily on the on Altria notice we have that nice little move we broke through this big resistance level in the chart 
and we're seeing um, the stock just kind of rest and consolidate. Now, I've got a couple trend lines on here. Notice we've got this really short-term trend. Possibility we kind of rest over to that. There's even the possibility we could rest even longer, kind of move out here to this longer term trend before it goes. So there's no rush into this trade. It's just something to keep an eye on. Mo looking pretty darn good. Take a look at CLX. Now CLX has been beaten down here substantially. Um, but I got to tell you, these defensive sector stocks, good dividend paying stocks are really coming on strong. And let's notice that what we've got going on here in CLX is we've broken out from underneath that downtrend. We've pushed up above some price resistance in the chart. And now we're just kind of consolidating and resting here as we chop out here toward our trend. Let's keep an eye on CLX. There may be some opportunity coming in here soon on that old boring stock. And I got to tell you, sometimes these old boring stocks are my favorite. They're just, they're just slow and steady and they just make really good money. So keep a close eye on that. Um, also take a look at RTX. Now RTX, um, we, we know we've got, you know, um, some issues over there with North Korea and, and issues over there with Iran kind of kicking some sand our direction. Um, so um, aerospace and defense uh, may be kicking up here just a little bit. And notice that we have a nice little upside trend. We pushed back pretty hard in this last market volatility, but we've recovered. And notice we're getting that nice little consolidating move right in here. And as this kind of slides out here toward trend, let's watch for that opportunity to maybe push on through to the upside. Take a look at GM. I've mentioned GM earlier this week and GM continuing to look very good. Now, I wouldn't want to chase this stock. What I'd want now is to wait for the next injury, entry. So give this time to rest, consolidate, pull back see if we can find that next entry point here into General Motors looking pretty good I think we need to be keeping an eye on uh, Cisco Cisco there's that tight consolidation again that night nice little resting pattern after breaking through a major resistance level in the chart let's keep an eye on this now I am biased on this because I've already picked it up I bought it on this day and I'm waiting to see if that's going to push on through but keep a close eye on Cisco this could get that inspiration here in the next day or two and start pushing through. Watch that one closely. Um, I have to mention um, energy stocks, XLE. Um, energy, after breaking this downtrend, we have that oil report today. We'll want to watch that closely. But notice that we broke that downtrend and now we're just kind of drifting along here, holding it as support. Keep a close eye on this. This longer term trend, we're kind of sliding past it, but we could catch that inspiration in today's report to maybe pop and start to extend on up in energy. So watch that close. And then um, last but not least, I want to mention the financials. Financials have struggled the last couple of days, just a little bit of rest in here going on but i got to tell you this is a very very bullish chart and as long as the fomc is going to continue to um, sell bonds to the banks and then buy them back at higher prices the banks are going to keep doing pretty well even though there's just a wave of foreclosures that are going to be coming uh, a watershed event is coming um, but probably not until the end of june now so watch that closely in these financials remember we're only a week away next wednesday we're going to hear from goldman sachs and and um, um, the kickoff to um, earnings season with those big banks. So watch that closely. I think there may be that possibility that we could rally in the financials just in anticipation of earnings. So watch that close. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results and your great profits in your trading. Have an awesome, awesome day, and we'll see you right back here, bright and early Thursday morning.